Hi there, today in this session we will practically implementing loops in Java, so let's get started. First of all I will demonstrate you with the help of for loop. As I said, each and every loop will have three statements, initialization, condition and then increment or decrement. Let's say I just wanted to print hello world 10 times. As I told you, for loop needs to be used when you know the number of iterations, so here I start with for loop with a temporary variable so you can see that by default the syntax is being generated where the first statement is in i equals to zero initializing my iteration variable with zero i say that let's initialize with one as of now until i is less than or equals to 10 the number of times loop needs to be executed and every time says i plus plus here I wanted to print hello world along with that I'm also printing which number has an iteration the value of i so what will happen guys let me tell you practically how it gets implemented first of all when the loop will start initialization of i will happen once it will happen we'll check for the condition if the condition is true the body gets printed if we'll not go for i plus plus in the first iteration it will just go to initialization condition and then body once the body is printed second time onwards, it will go to I plus plus. It means it will say I equals to I plus one. So I will become two. We'll check whether the I is less than or equals to 10 or not. If yes, then the body gets printed. It will not go to initialize I back to one. What I mean to say in the first iteration, I plus plus will be skipped. But the second time onwards, after the body, it will happen with increment, decrement, condition, and then body. Initialization to the I will not happen. Let me just run this program for your ease and make a test on it. So you can see that hello world to is printed right here. So this is how for loop works. For loop needs to be used when the number of iterations are not. Next you can use a while loop when the number of iterations are not not or when you are supposed to write some complex iteration and you want to work on the basis of that logic. Let me help you out with. First of all, I will tell you how to print hello world 10 times with the help of while loop, and then I will tell you one more example. In i equals to 1, while condition i is less than or equals to 10, we'll go inside the loop and print hello world. Plus, I wanted to print the value of i, within the loop only I need to do increment, and decrement I say i plus plus. So you can see that here also three statements are there, initialization to the local variable, i duration variable condition, and then increment or decrement. But when you are supposed to write on such easy implementations, go for the for loop, where chances of getting errors are very less. Because all the three statements needs to be written into one line. Let me help you out by running this program, and then I will demonstrate one more case study perfect. Let's just comment this out. Let's say I have a scanner object to take the input from user. String input while input dot equals to could is not true the loop has to be executed. Until that time, user will enter any input or message, and I am supposed to print that input equals to scanner. Yes. I wanted to convert the input into the lowercase before printing and the signing because I am comparing the quid in the lowercase as of now, and also I wanted to print the input. So you can see that, I will keep entering the message in printing but in the message if I enter quit, then the loop has to terminate, let me just run this program up. So you can see that enter message, I write hello world, you can see that it's printing hello world as in two times, I should use here next line. Hi how are you? The moment I will enter quit, the loop is terminated, you can just remove this one to make it more approachable. I hope the concept is clear to all of you. Let's try to understand a while loop which has more appropriate meanings. At least once the body of loop needs to be executed and second time needs to check the condition. I will cover the same case study here. Let me just take up the scanner. Let's say do says out enter message. Input equals to scanner. Next line converting into lowercase. Says out whatever input gets entered. This input needs to be declared. Next is checking here while input is not equals to quit. The loop has to be continued. So this input needs to be declared outside. You can check that 
Both are doing the same aspect, but here unnecessarily without entering the quit. I am checking the message. I am checking the quit. It will not work. I said that first time the loop has to be executed. Second time it should check the condition. That's how the while loop works. Hello. How are you? Let's disconnect and say quit. So this is how all these three loops and programming in Java needs to be implemented. You can make a right decision as per your requirements in your projects and your case studies. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you. See you in the next session.